if you are working any type of customer service or fast paced role, it's inevitable that you will be stressed out at some point, but it's important to adopt ways to not let that stress consume you. You in the past, I'm in the future. You, you, you mad. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Keila Trishan and I make videos on lifestyle, womanhood, and mental health. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and thank you for your support. Okay, so in today's video, I wanna discuss just some ways to get through a stressful job. As I've told you guys before in several videos, I do work in the insurance industry, specifically with claims, and the days can be kind of stressful depending on what's going on, depending on what types of customers I'm dealing with, depending on my workload. And so I've had to come up with ways to where the stress does not consume me. So if you are interested and just kind of need some tips for yourself, go on ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so the first tip that I have is to put out any fires first. So what I mean by fires is if you have any problem customers, if you have any problem files, try to work on those like first thing. I think that we have a tendency to put the things that we don't want to work on or the things that we know are going to be difficult. We have a tendency to put those things on the back burner and really in order to make your day less stressful, those are the things that you should tackle first. I've seen a major change just in my mental health at work by tackling the tough problems first, the things that I am not able to easily navigate to kind of get those out of the way, and then it makes the rest of the day that much more peaceful. So for example, I have this thing that I do where if I have a customer that is giving me grief, grief meaning like they're just constantly calling me, they're asking me the same questions over and over, or they're just not pleasant to deal with i try to do whatever i can do to not take that person into the next week in the industry that i work in files aren't just cut and dry there are times where i can close out a file right away if everything goes well but there are other times where things may linger or somebody doesn't agree with something or whatever there could be a lot of different um types of scenarios with that but what i try to do is with those customers specifically not saying that i put them above everybody else because i do give everybody the same the same treatment and the same i guess work and time in their claim but if it's somebody that is specifically like driving me crazy I try to make sure that I do all I can to move their claim along quickly. So I kind of do like an expedited process with them so I can just get that person out of my hair as quickly as possible. So yeah, put out your fires first, deal with the things that you don't want to deal with first so you're not consumed with that for the whole day. Okay, so the number two tip that I have to survive a stressful position is to answer your phone as much as you can. So if you watch my uh, day in the life video, if you have not, I will link it somewhere here so you can watch it after you watch this video. But basically I talked about a pro tip in there and that pro tip is to answer your phone as much as possible. I am not super familiar with the study, but basically um, in the different jobs that I've had, they kind of do this like calculation where if you answer your phone right away, you can usually minimize the amount of calls that you have to make throughout the rest of the day because you're answering that call as soon as it comes in, you're addressing that person's problem, and you're not playing this game of phone tag going back and forth, like where they leave you a message and then now you have to leave them a message, all that stuff. Also, it really actually makes your customer service scores go up if you are working in a customer service role because the person feels that you are accessible to them. Now, when I know that with the roles that I've worked, we get graded on customer service and so that has actually helped me see an increase in the positive response that I get. I never have issues with people thinking that I'm mean, but if someone feels that they can't get in touch with me, then sometimes that can reflect negatively. So not only are you minimizing your calls throughout the day, but you're also inadvertently making your customer service scores go up, which in some positions can mean more money, promotions, stuff like that. So try to make sure as much as possible you are answering your phone when it rings. One thing I will do is if I'm in the middle of typing a note and I don't wanna forget, I'll basically copy and paste that note into like a notepad or a Word document. I will answer the call, take care of that, and then I kind of like have what I was doing prior set aside so I don't like forget or, or like lose track. So that's something that you can do if it's hard for you to answer the phone while you're in the middle of doing something else. The third tip that I have is to make sure that you are taking your breaks. 
Now, I've said this in videos before, just about like working from home and stuff, but it really is important to not get so consumed with your work that you forget to take your breaks. A lot of us are working from home due to what's going on in the world, and so it can be really easy, especially because you're already home, to just get consumed with what you're doing. You just wanna finish, and so you just sit there at that computer screen for eight hours, you don't move, you barely eat, and that is like a recipe for disaster. You have breaks set up for a reason. So usually if you're like an hourly employee, those breaks are kind of like mandated by the state, depending on where you live. Like in California, that's how it is. If your salary, not so much, but you still need to consciously make sure that you are getting up ever so often just to kind of walk around, give your eyes a break, give your mind a break, and just do something else. What I like to do is um, I have my day set up to where I like review my new files, I'll make any calls that I need to make and just kind of get that out of the way first. And then after I do all of that work, then I'll take like a 10 minute break. So that'll be me walking around, checking my phone, whatever the case may be. And then I get back to it as opposed to doing all that work and then working through my break and trying to get other stuff done. I mean, you're a human being, you need like to rest. And so if you don't take those breaks, you end up burning out and you end up stressing yourself out. So whatever amount of breaks your job gives you, take them. And if you don't get like, you know, breaks that are actually scheduled, then make sure that you schedule your own so you can just kind of, you know, clear your head. Okay, so the fourth tip that I have is very simple, but a lot of people forget it. You wanna make sure that you are exercising and eating properly. Um, included with eating properly, you also wanna make sure that you're staying hydrated. So I have mentioned before that I like to keep like a cup of water at my desk because it's important to just make sure that you're staying hydrated. A lot of times when we're working these positions, especially if it's stressful or if you have a, like a huge workload, you can kind of forget like, oh, I need to go take a walk or oh, I need to eat, you know? And when you get hangry, then you tend to reach for things that probably aren't as healthy and it doesn't help with the stress either, you know? So what I like to do is besides just having the water by my desk, I like to make sure that like when I'm grocery shopping, I'm buying snacks that are healthy. I mean, obviously, you know, I don't feel bad about indulging here and there, but the foods that you, that you fuel your body with are gonna also affect your mood. So I like to keep simple things like fruit, things that I can just grab so it doesn't take much time, things that I can eat at the desk. I like to try to meal prep as much as possible so I'm not stuck in a position where I'm waiting for Postmates or DoorDash or something on my lunch break so I already have healthy food ready to go. And when, uh, in regards to exercising, I do like to exercise before I clock in for the day. So I like to get up early to get in that sweat, sweat session. But when you take your breaks, you can also walk around. Like obviously a lot of us are still quarantined. So you can, instead of like going out, maybe if you're building, maybe if you live in an apartment, you can just kind of go on a walk uh, around the perimeter or just something quick to get some fresh air. But you wanna make sure that you're moving your body and make sure that you are feeding your body nutritious foods so you can kind of like minimize that, um, that type of stress. Okay, so the last tip that I have in regards to dealing with like a stressful work role is to make sure that the days that you have off, you're filling it with things that you love to do. Now, you may just simply love to rest or even if you don't love it, you may just need it. If all you do is sit and look at a wall, do that. <laughs> but make sure that you are not using those days and stressing about the week ahead. Plan something for those days. Again, even if it's not expensive, even if it's just something simple, plan something that you're actually looking forward to to kind of take your mind off of the stressful job. Things that I like to do is, well, I film my YouTube videos on the weekend, so I do look forward to doing that. Like I'm I'm, I'm playing my content, just thinking about things that, that I wanna hear about or that I wanna talk about, and hopefully you guys do too. Um, I am spending time obviously with the people in my house uh, since you know you can't really do much else at this time um also i like to do like my self-care and pamper routines do my hair do my nails stuff like that so think about the things that would make you happy make you feel fulfilled and just plan it for the, your days off so you have something to actually look forward to and it just kind of breaks up some of that stress throughout the day because it's like yeah i'm stressed out now but you know what friday's coming so saturday and sunday i'm gonna turn up at the house or whatever you choose to do <laughs>
Okay guys, so that is all that I have for today's video. I don't think I spoke about anything that was super spectacular, but they are things that I think sometimes we can just forget. A lot of being stressed out is neglecting ourselves, and so you wanna make sure that you're putting yourself first and just taking a step back, slowing down. A lot of times we can alleviate some of those outside stressors by just being proactive and not reactive and just setting yourself up for success on a daily basis. So if you enjoyed this video, please go on ahead and give me a big fat thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you have not already subscribed, go on ahead and click that subscribe button below and be sure to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. With that being said, you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Size is super, they turned your back. It's like I never knew you. Lead that, lead that, lead that. I've been in the past. Lead that, lead that, lead that. Broke up in the past.